Well, in the case of Drive, a video which you mentioned was directed by the actor, Timothy Hutton, mm -hmm. there is a woman who gives a superior performance of someone who is very emotionally disturbed. How did you find this unknown face? Uh, I think it was a friend of Tim's. Um, I'm sure Rick knows more about th that. The screen tested about 10 girls or something, and it was just, you know, it was easy to make this decision. Her name is Paulina Poroskova. She's a Czechoslovakian girl. And uh, she just, like, fell right into the part. It's like she was born to do it or something. Shake it up. Shake it up. What was the first tune that you knew was going to be a hit? Hard to say I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we knew, uh, we knew Hard to Say I'm Sorry was going to be a hit. people are turning on to in this last 30, 40 years, not books or art. And so we've got more chance than anybody to change things, you know? I mean, it's all too easy just to say, no, it doesn't change anything. Let's go to the bar. Should I stay or should I go? Should I stay or should I go now? Have so you had a good day here in Montreux? It's been good, but not without events because uh, we were doing a publicity thing for Change the World, Sport Aid earlier on, down in the lake, up to our knees, and uh, no. he knocked me over and I went down. <laughs> it was an accident. I'll tell you. Yes, right, Geneva Lake, about minus two. Just... you just sing a uh, little bit not right now just now uh, just now just singing <laughs> is that possible okay and we'll even do a little dance before you <laughs> what is it i thought you were on my side were we not the race sorry you said it would be even when splitting up the stakes Cause when your heart is weak I'm gonna pick the lock on it Help me out of the life I lead Remember the promise you made I thought you were on my side Must you have the way My name is Walter Clyde Orange. Mylon Williams. William King. Ronald LaPrette. <laughs> J.D. Nicholas. <laughs> Wait a minute. Move aside, man. Move aside. Just equal time back here. Isaac Moore. All right, Isaac. <laughs> Are you the clowns of the rock industry? We've, you know, fooled around and stuff and interviews and things, but it is a cause of concern if you start to become known as clowns, because obviously it undermines that, that you, the fact that your music might be taken seriously. Hey now, hey
after this extraordinary, fierce spotlight of attention after all this time. Is there any way to top yourselves? Yeah, I think you always can sort of go on further, definitely. You just get more attention. Yeah. Enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Do you really want to make me cry? Do you prefer doing this to, like, magazine interviews and stuff like that? It's infinitely Why is that? Um, well, I think it's, it's mainly to do because, like, you, you're being seen as well, see? And so you can, like, put across a personality. When you're doing I'm not an interview, put words into your mouth. No, they, like, if you, you were just sitting there and asking me questions and then you were going to go away and write what I said, it's like, I don't know, it just all seems very, um, convoluted. <laughs> Your single, the title of the single. It's called I Just Died in Your Arms. But you're not dead yet. No. <laughs> it's a song about uh, dying in ecstasy. Dying in ecstasy? In whose arms you just died? Uh, hopefully she's waiting for me back in England.